Hello, once again, um, welcome. So we have this other question here. We are told that if f of z, if its seven function is analytic at some point z naught, prove that it must be continuous at z naught. All right? So by this statement alone, if f z is analytic at z at z at z naught, what's that? What does that mean? So we say this is the solution. All right? If f of z is analytic at z naught, then it means so. Remember, uh, for for a function to be analytic at some point, it means its derivative exists, right? So it means it is differentiable there, right? This differentiable there, and so by definition of differentiation. Remember, the differentiation involves the limit as the small change approaches zero. So it means, so if this is analytic at z naught, then it means it's differentiable there, and the limits, the limits, uh, limit. Uh, how do you write that? So it means the derivative exists. So it means the, the derivative of of the function at z naught exists and remember this is written as limit as z approaches z naught of what of f of z minus f of z naught all over z minus z naught it means this derivative exists and this limit exists uh, this one and another limit also uh, exists due to its differentiability at z naught z z naught of z minus z naught is equal to zero right exists so and the limits this limit and that limit exist all right because of it being analytic and thereby implying differentiability. So, how do you proceed then? Then we say uh, the limit, now, the limit as z approaches, okay, this is another way of writing the differentiation, right? You find it in text, in other text they say delta z approaches zero, then they'll have delta z alone here, down here. Of course, this is delta z, right? Then, in the numerator, you have f of z naught plus delta z minus f of z uh, naught. So it's just another way of writing that limit. So now the limit of f of z uh, minus f of z naught is equal to, right? Is equal to. Okay, this limit is we as if this function and closer to that point, the difference as z gets closer to z naught, this difference, what is it? It is none other than the limit as z approaches z naught. Let's repeat this. Uh, it will be f of z minus f of z naught all over. So let's artificialize here. We want to divide by this guy. Let's create z minus z naught multiplied by z minus z naught. If you check, we didn't do not uh, much. We divided and cancelled it here. So we can easily cancel and then you come back to this stage here. So it's just the same. So now it's just a trick, small trick, all right? Okay? So we, according to the property, the property of limits, we can move the, pro the limit. So the, there's a, a property limit of A by B. So it's just the limit of A subject to that condition.
by limit of so it's you can multiply this to basically so you can have that as a product so we want to apply that property so this is now equal to we take this to be here and that to be there so it will be limit as z approaches z naught of f of z minus f of z naught over z minus z naught multiplied by the limit as z approaches z naught of what? We can put brackets z minus z naught. Okay, so we just move the limit uh, in, into the square bracket. So we maintain this guy limit z approaches z naught f z minus f of z naught over z minus z naught multiply by. But according to that, this limit should be as z gets closer to z naught, the difference becomes zero, right? So automatically everything else becomes zero. So if this guy is equal to zero, what does that mean? We can move the limit to be on each. Then we will have a limit as z approaches z naught of fz minus limit as z approaches z naught of f of z naught is equal to this is equal to zero. So what does that mean? We move this equal to the other side. So which then implies that the limit as z approaches z naught of f of z is equal to the limit as z approaches z naught of f of z naught. This is none other than the definition of continuity of a function. If you revise your work on continuity of real valid functions, you find that if the limit uh, as we approach the point is this uh, on the function is the same as evaluating the limit uh, of the function at the very point, then if this is uh, satisfied, then we say f of z is continuous. Simple. Because of this, we say, therefore, f of z is continuous except not because of that last result. All right? So last, we are done. Okay, so the idea was the function from it being analytic, it means it's differentiable. Being differentiable, it means this, this limit, this derivative here exists and also that is satisfied, right? So where do we start from? Oh, we, we want to see how it behaves when you look at these two evaluations as z gets closer to z naught. So you do some simple trick here and then split using the property of limits and eventually get to that. Take that equal to zero, move things around, and then this is the definition of continuity of a complex value function. Therefore, f of z is continuous at z naught. Okay, thank you.